More than six months after it was first delivered by Lockheed Martin, the U.S. Army's newest ground-based missile launcher, known as the Typhon Weapon System, successfully fired a Tomahawk land attack cruise missile. The announcement was made by Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office RCCTO, which stated that the soldiers from the 1st Multi-Domain Task Force and the U.S. Navy Program Executive Office Unmanned Aviation and Strike Weapons collaborated to successfully demonstrate the launch of a Tomahawk missile from the Army's prototype mid-range capability system on June 27, 2023. In this live-fire exercise, Soldiers launched a Tomahawk missile after successful communication from the Battery Operations Center to the launcher. This test comes after the mid-range capability system's successful launch of an SM-6 missile earlier this year, which established the system's full operational capacity. In early December, media reports indicated that Lockheed Martin had delivered one of the first of four prototype Typhon mid-range capability MRC, weapon systems to the U.S. Army. The ground-based launcher has been developed as part of the service's launch drawn efforts to bolster long-range precision fire capabilities. In a brief statement published one day after the test, RCCTO stated, this test follows the successful launch of an SM-6 missile from the mid-range capability system earlier this year, confirming the full operational capability of the system. Earlier this year, the system test launched a ship-launched standard missile 6 SM-6 from the Typhon weapon system. The new test launch using the Tomahawk missile aligns with the service's goal of achieving some level of operational capability with the first MRC battery before the end of the fiscal year 2023 in September this year. The Army anticipates that Typhon will largely be used against land-based targets using either Tomahawk or the SM-6 missile. While the Tomahawk has some anti-ship utility, the SM-6 a Block 1A variant possesses limited land and sea target attack potential. The SM-6 was first created as a surface-to-air missile, but it also has anti-ship capabilities that have been tested, and versions with substantially longer ranges and other improvements are currently being developed.